Yo, what is up? Alright, so this is probably the third or fourth time I'm going to make this vid. And it's all about this. So this is the wheel mod I do. I take the lead weights, these strips, cut them, shape them how I need, and stick them around, and hide them inside the wheel. So this wheel, I think, comes in at 41, maybe 43 grams. And it is currently 66. So just this inner bead rock lock ring of the newer wheels is 51. And then we'll put the other bits on there too. So we're looking at 72 grams before tire. Throw the tire on there. And now we're looking at 83 grams and I don't, I don't think these little screws are going to amount to too much weight. I'll throw one on there to see if it increases at all. Yeah, so 0 0.09. And it's not going to amount to much. It's not even going to be a gram for the six that go in there. So you're looking at 83 grams a wheel. That is remarkable. That is the best place you can put weight. If you're going to throw any weight into these rigs and you're looking for performance, there's no better spot than inside the wheels. It's the lowest, widest place you can put weight. And it's all hidden. Oh, what the hell was that? And it's all hidden weight. Like, you don't see it. So all my wheels are loaded with weight. And you can't see them. So there's no, like, aesthetic loss at all. But that is awesome like how much that's going to increase and the nice thing about these wheels so you can see this one I had to cut each segment so I take this thing use these crimpers they got this strange end I don't know what the name of them is right now you can google them find them buy them but what I do is I stick it through here like this and just crimp off so I I'd squish that and bite it off and I'd end up with a bunch of these segments. Then all I do, spark plug socket, you can see that it is pretty much just a smidge smaller than the beadlock ring that goes in tires. Like it's, it's perfect. So I take those bent pieces, grab some channel locks, put it up inside where it's got this little bit of bend get this piece on a flat surface and just crimp it around move it and crimp it, move it and crimp it and you end up with all these guys right here then you just kinda make it fit some of them so you can see this one right here it's a smaller piece, smaller segment you just cut it put all the big segments back to back to back if you want vented tires, don't put it over the hole. But as you can see in here, there's the hole. I don't like vented tires. I like the real, like, the realism that it brings. When you have airlock tires, I think it looks way cooler. Performance is better. In my opinion, anyway. You do what you want. But all you'd have to do is put that kind of in between two of these and just space it out a little bit more than normal and you'll still get your vented but I don't like vented so that's what I do and that's that's the wheel mod man dudes, lady dudes I don't see anybody else doing this not one of you out there running SCX 24's you should this is this is like the best way to go it adds so much weight so for tires, this is going to end up being 340, 320 grams, you know, somewhere in that ballpark. Just just for tires and wheels, that's outstanding. That's such wide low weight. So whenever you go bump over a bump, your tire staying is mo as most planted as it can possibly be. Like if you don't, your tire and suspension, even the freaking little bit of shock spring that you have is going to make your rig flow in ways you don't want. So I truly suggest doing this. 
Heavy axles are great too. If you want to just do brass axles, that's really great. There's a lot of weight in those things. So these moose racings, they come with brass knuckles, which is pretty sweet. As you can see too, I have purple markered that stainless steel bar. So that's awesome. A little more customization there. I like doing that. I like using the marker because it adds aesthetic and customization that nobody else has, which is pretty rad, which parts don't come in. So as you can see, there's the difference right there from stock to just that little bit. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And these guys are just, like, it's crazy how wide they are. Normally I have to cut and shape, but I can use a whole segment. I just took a hammer or something like that, kind of put this on its side and hammered it down so the edge, the sharp edge of lead, isn't going to rip the tire when I go to mount it. So this thing is like totally smooth. Like it's crazy how smooth this is. The outside still smooth even though it's got the the grips from the pliers gone into it. Like these are crazy freaking sharp. This is totally totally smooth. It's fantastic. So it's not going to rip your tire. And if you do have a problem, just put it on something hard. Take your hammer, pliers, anything round and just kind of smack it around and you'll end up with a really nice edge and then you can just take that and work it into it and bam there you go hidden inside so much extra weight and it kind of stiffens up your uh, foams as well which is pretty nice if you like that so it kind of actually gives you that dual stage foam feel because it's going that far now instead of like that far it's now that far which is pretty rad so I'm totally liking that and with this uh, thicker internal it's gonna kinda stretch the tire out a bit more which should give it more stability because as it was in these it was kind of flopping over but anyway there you go another little mod peace